Exploring the out and about of Gaul, one is often taken aback by its charming prosperity, the easy laid-back style of life, the good-natured demeanor of the locals, the abundance of sunshine and sea breeze. certain day of December 2004, things were vastly different. A tragedy, a catastrophe struck. When one visits Gaul, it is easy to immerse yourself in the frolic and mirth of this quaint old town. But the town has more to it than that. It has its sorrows, its mistakes, woven into the fabric of history surrounding the very place. A somber yet humbling monument the Tsunami Memorial of Gaul is a must visit when in Gaul. When driving to the memorial, our guide Sunet pointed out an empty beach, which was the worst affected area in Gaul. All the pain behind the disaster has been woven with the memorial. The engravings on the wall depicting the tragedy faced by the victims. Behind the memorial lies the now calm yet roaring Indian Ocean. From the austere visit to the memorial, we needed a change of tone from death and disaster to a celebration of human perseverance. It's in the air, and it might go for six. Well, that might go away for a four. That will be a four. The Gaul Cricket Stadium, which is not only one of the most breathtaking cricketing venues of the world, also served as a beacon of resistance against the December tsunami by providing shelter to hundreds of homeless, grief-stricken locals. With the Indian Ocean visible on two sides of the ground and the famous clock tower of the 16th century Dutch fort towering above, Gold's International Stadium is one of the most scenic cricketing venues in the world. It was our lunch time and we did it in European style in a pizzeria named Seaview Pizza House. Cities, countries may change, but certain rituals of family lunches make change bearable and enjoyable. Like no place else, they say. Gaul was turning into one, thousands of miles away from Kolkata. Mm -hmm. 